the world of unknown. Someone, somebody, lost in this world, lost in this yellow and blue stone, a yellow and blue stone of confusion of mind. The chaotic mess of understanding, the misty world of unknown, a being, a being deep, 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 a deep in the misty world of unknown. Where's the being? What's the being? Does anybody even know? No one does. Can anyone hear my story? Yes. My mind of mystery? <coughs> it's the world of unknown speaking alone. The world of unknown. I think what, what's brilliant about Grace's um, poem is that it wasn't really cliche, do you know when a cliche you just say, oh then I got a cup of water. She was just like making my mind think a little bit deeper and stretch myself. When she was talking about the forest and she said unknown people lost and everything and she kept explaining I thought um, before she said the poem, I thought people plays around in there all knocks in the yellow, but then she explained it. Because there's loads of places, it looks really empty, people's lost. And I just went through her poem because I was imagining through the painting what she thought of. It kind of like reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It just made me think about kind of how it's relating, and I'm thinking, yeah, that could kind of in a way be inside of someone's mind if you think about it in a different way. I think your poem captured it all in just the picture really nicely and it made me think. If you said that land, how old do you think you'll be if be stuck in that land? It's the world of my it's maybe it is. It sort of made me, when I was standing there looking at it, and it reminded me of like a really complicated dream. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but in a way it does. It made it really nice and it actually explained. Thank you.